About half of the Ebola cases in the world are in Liberia, West Africa. And that is where we find Deborah Pata tonight. These healthcare workers are on another run in the overcrowded slum of West Point. Through the warren of narrow alleys, they perform one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Spray foot. Yeah. The virus is so contagious, even a moment's lack of concentration can be fatal. This man has Ebola symptoms and must be treated quickly to avoid spreading the disease. As he's placed in the ambulance, anxious eyes take notice. Watching too is Katie Myler, an American charity worker from New Jersey. This is her organization's own ambulance, bought when it was clear Liberia's healthcare system was collapsing. The ambulance is able to carry the sick out very quickly here. In other communities, it can take up to three, four days before an ambulance arrives. For us, it's 30 minutes. Do you know anything about Ebola? You know it's Myler runs a school for West Point girls, but with all classes canceled now, Wash your hands. What else? What she else? turned her school into an outreach center. She believes it's the only way the disease will be stopped. You got sickness around, so be extra careful. You have sickness around you. No, I'm telling you, there's people around you who are sick. Myla works hand in hand with workers like Archie Gebesi, who go door to door looking for residents who might be infected. Five persons died last month. Yeah, the family. And it happened as a result of the fact that they never had basic education to prevent themselves as people. Myla tries to bring comfort to the sick who are allowed no human contact. People are not dying only of Ebola. They're dying of hopelessness. They're dying of isolation and loneliness. To ease that pain, she sends mobile phones to patients yes. so at least they can call their families. All of them are talking now? Today, Myla got through to a sick mother. Oh, that's really great news. I'm overjoyed to hear that all the family, that they're doing better now. I'm so grateful, you know, in this time where so many people are dying. Despite efforts like Katie Myler's, a walk around the city makes it clear it is not enough. There's certainly a greater awareness of Ebola in Monrovia. We reek of chlorine everywhere you go, you wash your hands in it. But it is still going to take a massive international effort, Scott, to stop the deadly march of this virus. Deborah Pata in Liberia for us tonight. Deborah, thank you.